In this lesson, we will learn uh, a trick that Mesquite has for saving alternative name schemes for taxa so that you can um, switch between uh, different uh, sets of names for the taxa. And so let's suppose we have this tree here, and we'd like to print it, for instance, for a paper, but you might notice that the names of the taxa have all sorts of codes in them because these are actually connected to the molecular voucher specimens we used. And for the paper, we'd like to use the regular species names and not our own little informal names. The problem is, if we were just to edit the names like this, then this file would later have trouble reading in other tree files that were based upon the coded names. For instance, here in the disk, we have this tree file trees.next, and if we go look on the inside of that tree file, we see that it still has the coded names. So if we go ahead and change the names in this file to the um, formal species names, then the file would lose the ability, apparently, of then rereading those old trees in uh, later on. But it turns out we can save alternative naming schemes. So if we go to the list of taxa window, which is available, for instance, here, or by touching on this here, list and manage taxa, we get this window and we can add a column called alternative names. Now these alternative names um, uh, can be put filled with whatever you want. So now I'm going to fill in the formal species name. Ulex, Anemides, Arbiculatus, Averniana species, Ivarka, Kosinski, Ihabromatus, Pamas, and a short circuit this because you don't need to learn all these jumping spiders' names by just putting shorter versions. Okay, so now that we've got that, it's a handy thing for us to just save that just in case. So this we're going to call, we're going to store these as the formal names. And now later we can call those up again if we want from our store by load alternatives formal names, we can save various naming schemes like this. But we can then do things like trade taxon names with alternatives. We flip them and you'll notice now the alternative names contain the coded names. Here the taxa now are renamed by the species names and we can um, then uh, perhaps store these uh, coded names as another naming scheme, coded names. Uh, just for safekeeping in case we decide to edit this and or we lose this the other one or something like that And so now you'll notice under load alternatives We have formal names and coded names uh, And so we can save our file and now that we've done that we can go back and we've got the formal names here We can print the tree the way we want But anytime we want to read that old tree file We just come back here and trade back again and now the file is ready for reading that tree file as uh, shown here include file, trees, and even though that tree file lists the trees with the coded names, um, we can now see those that trees in that tree file uh, with the formal names by flipping back, going here, and then asking to see the other tree block with other trees. So now this is that other tree coming from the other tree file with the formal species names. So that's alternative names.